I'm Coley Masonry. We're back in Chestnut Hill. It's snowing out here. We don't care. We're not doing any mortar today, so the temperatures are fine for demolition and, and, and taking things apart. You know, you don't want to work out here when it's too cold. It's just not good for the mortar or the water to freeze up. There are chemicals that you can put in the uh, mortar to stop it from freezing or from even actually setting it up quicker before it freezes. But uh, right now, we're just taking up the patio. Come on a little closer. We have a, uh, a herringbone patio, brick patio, set in, it was probably set in sand at one point, but now it's basically turned into dirt. Um, this is old school paper, red brick in Philadelphia area. It's probably 100 years old, easy. These go for big numbers around here. People love this brick. It's a four by eight brick. It's a great paving brick. It does come a little bit random. You'll get some different thicknesses and a little bit different lengths. But uh, you know what? That, that, that gives it the old world charm, and, and this is what this house has. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all these up. We're going to save all the brick, of course. Set them where at on the other side. We're going to get a new base. We're going to get all this old sand up. Herman's starting to take them up now. What we're going to do over here is the downspout now is draining on top of, of the pavers and it's caused it to be undermined in this area. So we're gonna take off this 90 elbow right here. We're gonna come out of the ground with the terracotta. The terracotta is an orange-like pipe, clay-like pipe. We'll come out of the ground with that so it looks old school again, not some white PVC, because I think that looks ridiculous. And then when, once we're underground again, then we'll, we'll drop into Schedule 40 PVC, because that's a thicker gauged uh, plastic pipe and it, it won't break or crack. And we're gonna we're gonna bring it underground. We're gonna send it out through under the wall here, and then we'll have it drain into the garden with a little bubbler pot, a 90 degree bubbler pot that pops the water over. This gets all new modified stone. It's six inches thick, and then we'll put a fabric down, and then we'll lay the brick down in a screed stone, which is a finer stone. If you turn around here, then we're gonna step up. We're gonna keep this old piece of showing this stone here. It is cracked though, so what we're gonna do to utilize it and be you know, sustainable is we're gonna cut it right here. And then we'll just move it over and center it so that we get to use this piece again. These pieces are gonna be replaced by mica schist stone, which is native to this area, in the Philadelphia area. So we'll do the stone riser here, and then we'll backfill it, and then we'll pour concrete. And then we're gonna do an old school flagstone patio here. We have some of the old uh, flagstone, we're gonna use that again. Uh, they had set this, and this is the screen stone, if you can see it. It's a finer stone. It's very good for com from compacting the, uh, the, the, you know, the stone itself. So it's a really good bedding, uh, setting bed. I really like it a lot. And then we'll have this pitch here, pitch there, and, and then we have some small holes that uh, you have to see. You'll see later. Um, but that's where the water will drain out. So thanks for stopping by. Go to coleymasoryinc.com. You can subscribe to uh, our channel on YouTube. That'd be very helpful. And um, give us a call if you need us. Thanks.